Hola, tis I, Alicia. How are you? Hope you're doing well. Uh, I wanted to look into today about the curse of the crying boy painting. Have you heard of this one? So let me bring up pictures so you can see what it looks like and I will read to you about him. The curse of the crying boy painting is supposed a supposed curse that is said to be associated with a painting of a crying boy that was popular in the United Kingdom in the 1980s. The painting depicted the face of a young boy with tears streaming down his cheeks. According to the legend, the painting was cursed and brought bad luck to anyone who owned it. And the story goes that a number of house fires broke out in homes where the painting was displayed, but the painting itself remained unscathed. So, this is the one I'm most familiar with. I believe there's multiple versions of the little boy and the crying face. I'm not sure. I think, like, I guess it depends on who you talk to, that it's not just one copy of this painting, that there's multiple copies, and I guess they're all cursed. I don't know. Um, I want to say that I saw one of these at the Haunted Museum in Vegas, and I don't think I looked at it. I think I was, I was like actually spooked by the thing. I don't know. It could have just been me after I'd seen clowns. I don't remember what point I saw clowns and saw this. I don't know. Um, but I thought I wanted to look into this because I'm like, gosh, can you imagine? Like, where did this get started? Why would people be like, oh my gosh, I need that for my house. I mean, it's a cute little boy, but it's sad. I don't, I don't know. All right. So is there something to the curse? Is there a curse associated with any of these crying boy paintings? That's what we got to figure out. Is there a curse associated? Hmm. Okay, I guess I should have looked at that painting. I could have looked at it, but you know, the the story got me and it gets everybody else, okay? For the most, most of these paintings, it's hype, right? It is um, a, a story, right? Kind of like, um, you know, our Mildred Payne Oracle deck, you know, how this one is a kind of like a creepier deck. Similar idea. Long time ago, we've created a story about this painting. We're very satisfied with how this painting has uh, done for us with the story because we continue to work on the marketing. We share the story, it grows, the legend grows, people get curious, they want to get one. Da, da, da. This is like Ben, yeah, okay. So it's like, there's a balance here. So there might be things that have happened in certain houses where this painting also happens to be. Um, but this is more about a story, okay? Uh, there is some right or there's a good idea to hold some type of caution about this item um, but the odds of your house burning down with the crying boy inside are slim to none, allegedly, entertainment purposes, tarot card reading. So if the stories are true, now I don't know, I didn't go look and see if there's like newspaper records about this, but we'll just assume there's two cases. We'll say two. That sounds right. Maybe uh, all of these paintings that have been put out into the world, Maybe two houses burnt down. The painting was unscathed. What would be the idea behind? Is it the fire, the painting, the what's going on?
self-fulfilling prophecy or something in a weird way. At least that's what I feel like is coming out of this. This is like a, people are more powerful than they're aware of. People can um, manifest things that they're unaware of. People don't understand the power of <laughs> their minds. It's this, okay, so this whole thing, this is interesting that this whole thing is like, if you, you buy the painting with the intention that you want to see the house light on fire and the painting is not touched, then you are absolutely able to manifest and make your dream come true. Just wait and see. How weird is that? Um, yeah, this is like Queen of Pentacles. I am like, I make my own way. I make my own miracles happen, essentially, right? Manifester, magician, manifester, um, king of swords. If you dream it, you can make it happen, come into being, come to life. And in some weird subconscious manner you have desired to have this fire damage come to your life because you feel like you uh, need to be punished in some weird way this is nuts this is nuts oh my gosh okay uh, alrighty so let's let, let's think about uh, the creator now I don't know who the original creator is. I didn't look it up. If you know, put it in the comments down below. But the original creator of the Crying Boy, there had to be the first Crying Boy before we got Crying Boy version 2, 12, 8, and 9. Crying Boy creator. What was the intent when they created? Were they looking for people who wanted to, you know, have their houses burned down? I don't know. This is weird. Okay. Get your tinfoil hat on. Okay. It's almost as if the creator was tasked by this to do this painting, to create this, and like a part of the legend, which it would say like kind of found that to be a burdensome thing to do, but tasked by an official dumb of some sorts. I don't know if this is like the church or if this is a government or something like that, but the creator is tasked with this where that they are uh, meant to do this on purpose. There's something about like uh, how uh, it's almost like a, a mind game, right? Like, okay. We want you to create this. We want you to put out this um, part of the marketing is going to be, you know, we're going to start these rumors around the town. They're going to spread like wildfire, kind of like fire in your house if you hang up the painting boy, right? Uh, so the, the task is given to the creator. This is how this is going to be marketed. I, I don't know if the creator's like down on his luck or what, or maybe he's employed, could be, to do this because we want to see if we can manifest the the curse if we can manifest the curse um like there it's sick <laughs> it is sick um it, and then it's a, an idea of like then we can come in and offer to help whoever this is so i don't know if th this could be like the church coming in to be like well you've manifested this curse and we need you to do like a church healing 9,000 plan or something. I don't know. Get your Thetans out. Whatever. There's something here to this where it was intentionally done to like mess with people. What the? We, God almighty, this is the weirdest world we live in. 
<sighs> Anyhow, that was an interesting walk. Hope you enjoyed that one. Come join me in the Moon Moth Manor where we uncover a lot of other weird stuff at aliciawicker.com. Give this video a like and I will see you next time. Adios!